Blondage was like a pretty big thing. I mean, it's definitely something that you're really well known for. Um, you traveled all over the place, did that, and then you got into porn. Mm -hmm. And then, so you did shot for Andrew Blake. And then Mm -hmm. where did you go from there? Uh, from Andrew Blake, I did more Andrew Blake. (laughs) And, uh, um, because I, uh, the production manager actually for Andrew Blake is who I kind of stuck with. Mm -hmm. And her husband, um, was a director called Freddie Lincoln. Mm -hmm. And so I spent the better part of uh my career with andrew blake and freddie lincoln okay um and who did freddie direct for like um gosh metro uh caballero um sin city like every like all of those you know Mm -hmm. like there was it it was pretty much everybody yeah yeah all the big like all the big studios yeah yeah so um yeah I just did I worked for him and with him and uh that was it and then I went to Vivid and I was with Vivid for X amount of time and then from Vivid I went to Digital Playground which I ran with my tail between my legs because it, it it's changed hands just so everybody knows but yeah. at the time like they were horrible yeah horrible horrible people and then, uh, so I, I left, which was great because they told my agent at the time, they were like, she's acting like she doesn't want to be here. And he said, funny, she mentioned it. Cause she doesn't want to be here. <laughs> like, yeah. The old, the, the old people that ran digital playground fought with us too. They were tough. We man. had a big fight with them over Tara Patrick. Actually, they, tough. they sent us, um, cause there was, so, you know, Tara, I think was trying to get out of her contract and my mom had shot her. Um, and then I think Tara wanted to shoot again, but like, we weren't sure if she was still under contract. Mm-hmm. So I think we, we asked them cause we didn't want to get in the middle of some like yeah. kind of legal battle cause they were very litigious yes, they were. and they sent us a letter basically saying that like Tara Patrick was still under contract. And if we were to shoot her, they would sue us. It was mm-hmm. this very nasty mm-hmm. letter. My mom framed it and hung it in the bathroom <laughs> of her studio. <laughs> So her. Yeah, that it is so awesome. her. She was like, F- you. That's awesome. But yes, Digital Playground is now owned by MindGeek. Completely different people. Yeah. So we're not talking about the current no, company yeah, the that current runs Digital. But uh, no, back then they were pretty tough. And uh, in fact, they they loved rumors. I don't know if you remember this, but they, they loved any, any publicity was good publicity. And mm. so they would literally say vile things for publicity it was like the weirdest thing and they would pit the girls against each other for publicity it was so strange so um all of a sudden i hear rumors that i broke into their studio i stole tapes that i was in and then i lit them on fire in their (laughs) bathroom and i was like have you guys ever seen their place? Like they had barbed wire rings around the top of the chain link fence. And how am I, am I mission impossible? Like <laughs> I could just see me like, din, 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 din. like, like what's happening? Like I'm yeah. scaling chain link in order to, and, and barbed wire in order to get into a, a studio that has iron doors to get into safes in order to then just light them on fire in the sink. Like (laughs) I don't understand. Or that I attacked Tara Patrick with like a lit curling iron and I set her hotel room on fire. Like what I (laughs) do now. There's a little truth to that. I'll give them that. Okay. But, but this is, but this is the truth. We were getting ready in her room. Mm Mm-hmm. We were in France. Mm-hmm. I had um, the thing that, that you can plug in your curling iron, but I didn't have the thing to dumb down the wattage. Okay. Yeah, because so, you're on different uh, yes. frequen- – not so, frequencies, but yeah, because you're in Europe. Yeah. So so in Europe, like their electricity is super, super, super strong. Yes. So even if you can get the plug that the that you can plug it in – you're supposed to get this other thing that like takes their electricity and makes it less than for yeah, it your converts it. yeah for your appliance. Well, I didn't have that, so I plugged it into the thing, and the thing to my 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 curling iron. I pick it up from the floor. It has burned a hole in the carpet in the floor, and when I pick it up, the barrel on it 
turns down, slides like, like it off, melted. Yes, yeah, slides off the wires, which the wires are sparking, <laughs> and they're like, and I'm like, oh my god, and I throw it, <laughs> of course, into the trash can because I'm not terribly bright. <laughs> And so now they're like, the trash can starts smoldering <laughs> and I'm freaking out. So that's the story. So was there a curling iron? Yes. Was there a burn in a carpet? Yes. Was there actually a fire? No. Did I attack her? No, we were getting ready together in her room and I had to pay the hotel $500 to replace the part of the carpet. Wow. Yeah. So, but they liked that, like right. that thing, and uh, I just couldn't. So, so I ran with my tail between my legs. I was like, oh, "I'm out of here. You, you guys are morally reprehensible." <laughs> so then, so then I, I went to. Um, so then I was with uh, w- Wicked for a long time, and then I went on my own. And I gotta say, that was the best time uh, of my career is when I ventured out on my own. 